So have you ever been in a spaceship? <laughs> it's an enlightening experience. For the first time, I knew I was meeting a master. She emanated this love vibration that is indescribable. She would look you in your eyes and you knew she was beaming light into you. It was better than any meditation or any drug I'd ever had. It was a beautiful altered state of consciousness. I wanted to hug every stranger on the street and I wanted to hug a tree because this love just oozed out of me by being in her aura. Norman, co-founder of the Unarius Foundation, headquartered on Magnolia Street in El Cajon. To thousands of followers, both here and around the world, Mrs. Norman is a cosmic visionary. 28 years ago, Mrs. Norman, or Uriel as she prefers to be called, established Unarius with her husband, the late Dr. Ernest Norman. When he, uh, as you earth people call, died, when he changed worlds, uh, this channel ship was changed to myself, and then uh, now I am the channel. Ruth Norman says that she was sent to Earth 77 years ago to live as a human. She remembers that even as a child, she had healing powers. In later years, she married another space visitor, Ernest Norman. He has since returned to his home planet. Norman told his wife before he left, it is her mission to prepare people of the Earth for the arrival of the space visitors. Yes, we can say, we space brother can now say that the landing will be soon. Well, now, Mrs. Norman, there have to be an awful lot of people who are skeptical about all this and have the feeling that you're just putting us on. Uh, maybe you see one uh, viewpoint that we have countless thousands of students throughout the country that are very sincere in this understanding. And these students have been practicing these principles, and every one of them, their lives have been changed beautifully. Sometimes, some of them were, were dope addicts, some were alcoholic, some were uh, perverts, uh, various ways. And every one of these students, their lives have been changed totally, and they are a very loving, kind group. In December 71, I received introductory literature. I had already gotten uh, a college degree, and I thought, well, this is outstanding. This is exactly what I've been looking for, something that joins science and spirit together. And I got so hooked, two years later I decided to move out here and, and make this a part of my life. So in 1973, Christmas Eve, I drove out and arrived here in El Cajon. And she uh, graciously invited me up to her home, and she and I sat together on a love seat, talking to me. And I committed myself to um, becoming more a part of Unarius. When I first contacted Unarius, I had a lot of inhibition, uh, a lot of insecurity. Um, just, you know, I, I was completely screwed up. So, uh, but I, I came in, into the center and I immediately felt as if, you know, some of these problems were beginning to drop away. I felt this peace of mind come over me. I, I wasn't really an artist. Uriel said to us, you have to express creatively because when you're doing that, the brothers on the other worlds, these higher spiritual teachers, will be working with you in consciousness. We like to say everybody has psychic ability and it's been blocked from our past experiences. And Uriel talks about how any of the great masters, the artists, the musicians, you know, Mozart, they all did a form of channeling to bring through what they brought into, into the third dimension. The people on the Earth world uh, are, are not aware 
that we have access to this higher influence and inspiration and ability. But it's there. There are absolutely no limitations to man whatsoever. We would put on these pageants for Uriel during special celebrations. And design the costumes and the sets. And all the artists would make paintings and the musicians would create music. It was a blast. It was so enjoyable. These are all the dub masters from all the different shows that Uneris has made over the years. Why do you think I sent you to that pleasure planet? To have fun? You come back a complete robot! Not my robot, somebody else's robot! When I send you for information, I send you for information. Valna does not go to the Pleasure Planet for fun, for recreation. Uriel, following her inner inspiration, decided that the students would film psychodramas to learn more about their past lives. I do this! Gaze upon your master! The purpose of a psychodrama, there's no real scripts. Literally, they get in tune with their past, and the words just come out. They are actually reliving how they thought and felt at that time. And it's really amazing to see, but it's also a wonderful tool for healing. As you're reliving daily life, having its same struggles, what are you going to eat? Uh, where are you going to find your next meal? Um, is someone going to, uh, you know, is the god Baal going to uh, tell you that you're, you know, doomed to hell? Baal wishes you to dance and dance and dance until you have danced out all of the demons living so that you may please Baal. You must do this. You must immediately stand up. This no, row, <laughs> dance, until you are utterly I don't exhausted. know. I dance for joy. I Praise. Please. Never thought. That film was a turning point for me. When the film was completed, all of the, all of the reenactment I did from my past, uh, I had so much healing that I can honestly say I was totally changed. It's like so much of the old self, it just gently drops away. And you're more refined. You're far more sensitive and your capacity to love is ginormous. I am Ramu of Lemuria. Does that name or does this consciousness ring to you? Yes. Are you aware? of the great destruction that you helped to do to this body this long ago? Are you aware? Her love carried a vibration that you could feel. It transformed you. So Inarius has over 80 different shows, and at its peak, we actually were on about 30 stations across the United States, public access stations. And we're still making videos, making classes and, and different shows to help portray how to utilize the principles that are taught here. We just keep doing what we're doing and trying to make the world a better place. I wanna say she's probably 89 or 90 in this video. Um, it's just about when she was about ready to make her transition. And she told us, you kids are on your own now. And she came down and she said, I just want to tell you how much progress you all have made. And I'm so proud of you. Space free.
coordinator Uriel extends the lighted hand. Hearken to the welcome cosmic love to which there is no end, go in peace and ever seek within thee the love that I give unto thee, for I am infinity, infinity, infinity.